U.S. intelligence shows China is using advanced technologies like gene editing and brain control weapons to advance its military and to crush dissent. Ari Fleischer is a former White House press secretary and Fox News contributor. Welcome, Ari. Thank you. So gene editing and brain machine interfaces sounds quite barbaric. What can the United States do about it? Well, I really don't know what those are, what they mean, but I will tell you this about China. Unlike the United States, where our Declaration of Independence says, based on the great Enlightenment thinkers of the 18th century, that government derives its just powers from the consent of the governed, a absolutely profound notion that the people run the government in an era where we had absolute monarchs back then, China is just the exact opposite today. Mm -hmm. People derive their just powers with the consent of the government in China. Everything that people do in China has to be in service to the state. So it doesn't surprise me if China is seeking to develop more tools, more ways that they can manipulate their population in service to the state. It fits China's modus operandi, regardless of what those techniques may or may not be. Certainly, it's what China tries to do. I want to play for you a clip from former DNI John Ratcliffe, and I'll ask you to respond. We may be trying to accomplish some of the same things with not not from a human rights standpoint, but from a military standpoint of of gaining an advantage on the battlefield. But we're not going to uh, to place our own soldiers, sail sailors and airmen at risk, which is what the intelligence tells us the Chinese are willing to do. Ari, is it that Americans value human life a lot more than the regime in China? It's deeper than that. I mean, it begins with the value of human life. But it's a recognition that the people are supreme in the United States, that the government has to do what the people want to do. And China is just, as I indicated before, the flip opposite. So if the people must serve the will of the state, and if the state's will is that it should always be superior in all, including the military, mm -hmm. then people become cannon fodder. And you manipulate your people to achieve whatever you want. Look, after September 11th, the Chinese government saw the tremendous rise in patriotism in the United States. And amazingly, they reached out through the State Department and they asked the United States government, what did the government do to engineer that rise of patriotism in the United States? And when we heard about that at the White House, we all laughed. President Bush <laughs> laughed that they failed to understand how America works. But they think they can have a top-down government that dictates to the people who they are, what they should do, and how to behave. So all of this fits long-term Chinese thinking mm -hmm. about how to have the state always be superior above the individual. Um, again, I, I don't know what these techniques are that they're trying. It sounds far-fetched. There's a limit to how far you can go. Mm -hmm. But China will go to that limit if it's what it takes.